Sorry, memory card ran out there, so we'll go over the rest of it. Interior back here. It looks like that could be could use a steam clean, but otherwise it seems to be in good condition. Now the interior, I couldn't find any signs of uh, cigarette burns or anything. It's got a battery uh, underneath here. It's got the battery kill switch in it, and uh, a little bit of denting in the side card there. Other than that, it looks fine. The uh, I don't think there's an ash tray in here, so I can't actually check to see if it has been smoked in, but there's no smell or anything. Just go once more around the vehicle. The paint seems to be in good condition. It doesn't look like there are any areas where there has been a respray. Seems like original paint, and uh, it looks like none of the body panels have been replaced, such as the front fenders, rear fenders, or anything like that. The wheels on it are original wheels. They're scratched up a little bit here and there. The tires on it are DOT, so they can be registered or passed through inspection in Canada. Rear uh, fronts here, uh, 205 6015s, and the rears are. Uh, 225-55-16s and the rears also are dot tires so they will also pass inspection. Uh, Falcon ZX ZE512 tires. The trunk of the car is uh, very large actually. Come on, I get the E. Okay, spare tire in here and spare tire. Mm, it's very old, but I don't know if it's been used or not. Inside here, it looks like we've got the rear visors, but they seem to be not in mountable condition. They may need to be modified in order to be mounted on the vehicle. No sign of water damage into the trunk in the trunk here. Uh, extra windshield wiper. windshield wiper and tool bag in the back here. Okay, lower the hood and just take a look at the front of it with the hood lowered.